One of the greatest tragedies in life is to watch potential die untapped. How sad to know that the majority of the people on this planet will never discover who they really are, while others will settle for only a portion of their true self. Some are longing for fame and greatness in the wrong direction. Some are pursuing it with a misdirected zeal. However, it is beneficial to know that those things will likely come to those who have discovered their purpose and pursue it with passion. Only a selected few will make the quality decision to maximize every fiber of their lives by fully maximizing their life. Each one of us has the opportunity to pursue maximum living. The question is, will we choose to exercise that option? So in this video, I will be sharing with you the six major keys to releasing your potential. Key number one, know your source. No one knows a product like the manufacturer. If you are going to maximize your full potential, you too must seek to understand the nature of God's original design for you. That understanding is not available to you unless you become reconnected with God. You must know your source if you want to experience a satisfying, abundant life. You cannot expose the gifts, talents, and natural abilities that God put into you if you do not become reconnected with Him. All you do and are, apart from God, will always fall short of the true value and capacity of your potential. Consequently, fulfillment and value are impossible without God. Only by reconnecting to Him can you hope to unlock His power within you. Only by returning to God can you hope to unleash your full potential. You must know your source to become your potential. This is the foundation key. Key number two, understand your function. An understanding of how you are designed to function is an important key to releasing your potential. The mode of operation for maximum performance of any product is determined and established by the manufacturer and must be obeyed for maximum profit and we've said that the first key to releasing your potential is to know your source therefore the second key to releasing your potential is knowing how God created you to function and applying that knowledge to your life by the same token man was designed to live by faith God's original design for mankind calls for us to live from the perspective of faith with eternity in our hearts. In Hebrews 11 verse 1, it says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. We were designed to function by faith and not by sight. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Hebrews 11 verse 6 This is God's mode of operation. He is not influenced by outward appearances. Neither is His power diminished by seemingly impossible obstacles. Your ability to release your full potential is tied to your willingness to consistently live from God's perspective. Learning to function by looking beyond what you now see to what is yet possible is an essential key 
to unleashing your potential. That's key number two. Key number three. Understand your purpose. To fully release your potential, you must understand God's purpose for your life. Your purpose is that which you were created for. God's original intent for your life. You cannot effectively release your potential if you do not discover God's purpose for giving you life. Your potential and your purpose are perfectly related because God never requires you to do or be something that is not part of His purpose for your life. Likewise, He never requires something of you that He did not provide for when he created you. Your potential enables you to fulfill your purpose and your purpose reveals the potential hidden within you. God is a purposeful God. He is not a purposeless God. He created you for his purpose. Listen my friend, you share the purpose of humanity to glorify God by fulfilling your individual purpose and by releasing the potency, beauty, and possibilities hidden within you. This is the third key to maximizing your life. Understand your purpose. Key number four. Know your resources. Provisions are given for the fulfillment of visions. Every builder, before he starts a project, both estimates what materials he will need to complete the job and determines what resources are available to him. God functions in a similar manner as he forms and fashions each person for a specific purpose. He also provides the necessary resources to accomplish his plans. Resources cannot and should not be substituted for the source. You too possess God-given resources. The proper use of these resources releases potential, while the improper use of these resources kills potential. Do you know your resources? Comment below if you know what I'm talking about. Therefore, you cannot fulfill your limitless potential unless you learn what resources you have, how God intended them to function, and why He gave them to you. The effective use of your resources is the fourth key to releasing your potential. Key Number five, maintaining the right environment. This is very important. The fifth key to releasing your full potential is maintaining the right environment. All potential demands conditions conducive to the maximum fulfillment of purpose. Therefore, all life forms have ideal conditions in which they grow and flourish. Light that is constantly surrounded by darkness is in danger of losing its virtue. Righteousness that repeatedly associates with wickedness may in time be tarnished. You cannot consistently spend time with ungodly people or be surrounded by unrighteous conduct and maintain your fellowship with God. Your fellowship with God and obedience to His laws and commandments are essential ingredients of your ideal environment. Life outside that environment will ruin your potential because a wrong environment always denotes death. All manufacturers establish the ideal conditions 
required for the maximum performance of their products. Likewise, you were created to function under specific conditions established by God. Any violation of the manufacturer's specific conditions minimizes his intended effect. I don't want you to forget that. The precepts of God are there to guide us. His laws are given not to restrict us, but to protect us by maintaining the ideal environment for maximum performance. Creating and sustaining a God-centered environment is as important for your growth and maximum living. Maintaining your ideal environment is the fifth key to releasing your potential. Key number six. The last key on my list is what I call labor. Or you can call it the master key. The release of your potential demands that you accept the responsibility to work. Dreams without work accomplishes nothing. Work releases potential and empowers success. Laziness, which is the absence of work, kills potential and sacrifices possibilities. You also need to work out your potential. Potential is always present, waiting to be exposed. Demand must be made on potential if it is to be released. God's purpose for giving you work is to bless you by calling forth from you all that He sees in you. He designed you to meet your needs and the needs of others through your ability to walk. These six keys are essential for the release of your potential. If you disregard even one of these principles, you will limit your potential because the violation of a law always incurs a penalty and history has proven that these laws are true. Commit yourself today to practicing these keys so your potential will not die with you. Each and every one of us possess the ability to impact our communities, our homes, our cities, and perhaps the world at large, if and only we will dare to challenge ourselves and place demands on the vast wealth of potential that is buried deep within us. And until a man can see beyond his own lines, the future is in danger. Thank you. God bless you.